Hello guys, I'm Edu Falaski. We are together at Duke TV. See ya! When the Portuguese people, they just came to Brazil and they discovered the Brazilian land, you know. Actually, it was like the island of Veracruz. And I mixed the real history and the fiction to have the whole concept of Veracruz. It's an adventure. There is a romance, battles, Portuguese people against the Indians. So it's kind of reality with fiction together in a great production. We leave to shore, it means the old agreed. The ocean smell was riding on the wind. You worked in Veracruz album during one year and a half. We worked like 20 days in a month, 10 hours a day and working in every little detail. In the end, it was like a big surprise because in Japan, for example, we were at the first place, you know, as the, be the best seller in the Amazon website, you know, during like two or three months. So for me, it was very nice to see that the fans uh, still love my music, you know, after so many years. I never thought that one day I will play with Edu Falask or Achilles Priest or, you know, that's like a dream coming true. When I joined forces with Achilles and Fabio, we three, like we played in Angra during many, many years, you know, so it's natural to have a sound that remember the times from the beginning of the 2000s. You know? That's why the people can connect both things, you know, so the, the past and the present. I didn't want to make something common, something like simple, you know? Just one more song, just one more video clip. It's epic, you know? I wanted to create something forever. That's why I did this, this very beautiful video clip with like a huge production, actors, like different places, you know? The fans everywhere, they deserve it, you know? They really deserve it. The Road Crew Contest is a very important contest in Brazil, actually in South America, you know. We knew that probably we would get like one first place or two, you know. But uh, uh, to be honest, I didn't expect that we would get almost everything, you know. Everybody knows that it's not about being the best musician, we know that. It's about like, you know that the fans approved what you did, you know. And for me, to be approved after everything that I had in my life, the problems with my voice, people judging me uh, all the time, you know? So I feel very happy to see the people who can enjoy my music again. Well, rebirth for me is everything, you know, it's the start of everything. The beginning of a professional career. I had other bands before, but rebirth just showed to the world my music, you know, my compositions, and showed a new anger with new energy, with power, you know, we were like very focused on the band in that time. I would be forever grateful to the band, especially Kiko and Rafael, that gave me the chance to put me 
in a place for everywhere to see me, you know. I remember in that time we conquered lots of new fans and we got the improvement from the old fans. Not everybody, I think, but most of them. So I think it, it's a very important album. It's a, an album that changed many things for everybody in the band, you know. We had this Rock and Rio show, and then after this concert, I was destroyed in the internet. Like many fans, like saying many bad things about me, my voice, my career, my, my music, everything. To explain to the people, it, it was a reflux. I took many years to discover that this was the problem. This acid just come to the throat and burn everything. Then your voice, like start being a shit, you know, so I didn't want to, to split or to leave the band, but uh, the connection was totally lost. And then the energy was like totally black energy. Uh, and I was really, really sad. I was completely alone. Of course, my family was with me, but the band, nothing, zero. After I left the band, my mother died. They knew that I didn't receive one call. I had no mother anymore. I had no band and I had no voice, which is everything for me. I, I'm not a musician that the guitar is part of me. No, the voice is really part of me. So I lost that. It was a hole in my soul in that time. I don't know if people believe in the things I'm gonna say now, but I believe in God and I believe in good energy. There was a guy, a guy from Peru. He invited me to go to Peru to, to make one concert. He said, I just want you to sing anger songs, but I don't have a band that play anger songs anymore. Let's do Alma. He said, no, I want you to go there to sing anger songs. Your fans are asking for anger songs with your voice, the original singer. And he said, I have a band, a Peruvian band. I decided to go. The musicians were really good. In this concert, there was kind of 2000 fans, crazy fans crying, singing together, singing along with me, you know, it was crazy. Joey Lynn Turner, do you know the, the singer from The Purple Rainbow? I don't know if you remember that, but he was there. We had a dinner after the concert and suddenly he just asked me, who are you? I don't know you, but I saw many fans singing your songs, like people like screaming your name and singing the songs together with you. Like, who are you? Tell, t tell me your history. I told him everything, especially that I didn't sing Angra anymore. Only that's that concert. He just looked at me and he said, you are fucking stupid, man because you are the voice of that albums. You are the composer of that album because I composed many songs and I told him, you, know, you need to come back to Brazil and build a solo career. The fans want to sing the original singer of the times. Well, you have a history. You have old fans nowadays. They want to see you singing the classic songs. And then I said, Okay, so if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna invite Achilles Priester, which is the original drummer from the times, and Fabio Laguna, the original keyboard player. Then we made a concert in Sao Paulo for 2,000 people as a solo singer, solo career. Then I saw that Mr. Joey Turner was really right. <laughs> you know, so I would be always grateful. I think the most important thing is 
to be happy, to be free, like calm, surrounded by real friends. I think this is the most, most important thing. Now we are dealing with promoters to build a tour, to promote Veracruz album, and in the future, of course, a new album. <laughs> I was always a simple guy, you know. I came from a poor family. I used it to trust in everybody. You know? So after living, after like uh, surviving, fighting many times, you know, then I would say, be careful, you know, don't trust anybody. So trust in yourself, in your real friends, I was like a happy guy, you know, living a dream, joining a, a famous band, you know, I was very happy. I use it to don't see behind the curtains, you know. I don't, I don't have that kind of uh, uh, rock star vibes, you know, that don't want to, to be close to the fans. I'm not like this, I think everybody is important. So I was in Angra, I was famous like in Temple of Shadows times, for example when the band was like huge in, in Japan, Brazil, in France, it was going really well, you know. On the stage, okay, the artists, you know, like face, you know, using the hands, the typical rock star elements. But outside the stage, I always was the same guy, the same Eduardo, not Edu Falaschi, but the Eduardo, as my mother used it to, to call me. So I was, and I am, the same person, you know, so. You do have this kind of vibe, this, you know, he's always really happy. Every day tell me, oh, you can do it. You can do whatever you want in the arrangements. Just play like you want. When I decided to say about my problem, my vocal problems, uh, about the recovery, about coming back again, this was very important for many people. I gave many interviews. I received messages from the fans saying, you changed my life. Now I have hope again. You didn't give up. That is important for me to touch the people's heart with my music, with my history, with the legacy, as you said, you know, someday I, I will die as everybody. But the history, the things you planted, the music you left in the world, that will be forever. For everybody, for many generations. That is important for me. Oh my God! 